If you're wondering what it's really like to be a barista, or you need an excuse not to do it, watch till the end and you'll get all of the answers you're looking for. Let's go! First one was a hard challenge for me. The early start. I am not a morning person, but when you're working at a cafe, chances are you'll be starting your shift at the crack of dawn or even earlier than that. And let's face it, waking up before the sun is hard for anyone. It can be especially difficult if you are a night owl like me or if you have a busy schedule outside of work. On the bright side, you get to start your day with a burst of energy and you get to see the sunrise. You're probably off early and you will have more time to do things throughout the day. But is that really worth it? <sighs> Let's continue. Standing for long hours. Depending on the cafe, you may be on your feet for eight hours or more per shift. And let me tell you, that can be very tough on your back and your feet. It can be especially challenging if you're not used to standing for that long or if you have any physical conditions that make standing difficult. I can't do this anymore! All that labor will ensure you're exhausted by the time that you get home, and that will make waking up for that 6 a.m. shift the next morning easier and easier. Now, can we say that's an advantage? Well, then you might need to hear the next one. There's no way to avoid grumpy customers. No matter how helpful or friendly you are, there will always be someone that's having a bad day and will take it out on you. Angry or rude customers can be one of the most frustrating parts of the job, especially if you're a natural people pleaser or if you have a hard time standing up for yourself. However, dealing with difficult customers can help you develop a thicker skin and even improve your customer service skills. It can also give you the opportunity to turn a difficult situation into a positive one. And if you're already knee deep into the coffee business, you might need some tips to help you face these situations. So drop a comment if you would like a video about this. A link might appear around here if I've already made it. Next one, the mess. Working at a coffee shop means you're constantly dealing with cups, milk pitchers, and a lot of dishes that can quickly turn into a huge mess if you're not careful. Plus, cleaning up after a busy shift can be tiring and time consuming. It can be especially challenging if you have a hard time cleaning or keeping things organized. On the good side, working in a messy environment can help you develop time management skills and improve your ability to multitask. And here's the main reason why people don't make this a career. The low pay. Unfortunately, the pay for a barista is often not the greatest. In North America, a barista wage can range between $13 to $16 an hour. Although in some countries like Australia, baristas average around $28 per hour. So if you're from there, lucky you! I wish I had the chance! The pay was the main reason why I had to leave my barista job. And I was a cafe manager. So that's why most baristas tend to be students, immigrants, people transitioning careers. It becomes only a job. Sometimes I miss it so much that I wonder if I can just go back to it, even if it means an income drop. So I had to find a solution. And for me, that was becoming a home barista. And that might be the same for you. If you want to understand what this means and how it differs from being a barista at a coffee shop, go watch this video about it. I wish you good luck in your journey. And thank you so much for being here.